Annalie Waters back to serve the best women's jump singles player in the world. And right off the bat, Leia Jansen able to just go ahead and put that one away, but not after doing a nice touch, little slice volley up at the net. A little shorter, I think Annalie is always used to people pushing the ball back to her, giving her another opportunity to crack it home for a winner. So already something that we're going to look for from Leia Jansen. As we reflect back on the 2023 season, one of the best matches between these two was in Texas. More on that in a moment. Yeah, Jansen had several opportunities there in Dallas last season to polish off Anna Lee and couldn't do it, but it was such a fun match to watch. Anna Lee leads the series 19 to Zero. 2 in the head to head, 90% win percentage on Leah Jansen. Side out. Yeah, that one going to be a bit wide. Usually when we see in singles, both players trying to, you know, get their get their nerves down if they have any whatsoever. I'm sure they do, even just a little bit, even for these seasoned zero, veterans zero. of the game. And so that feeling out process a little bit, just get the legs under them. Point. And Leia Jansen able to strike first here on the board, up 1-0. One zero. Point. Couple of good opening sequences for Leia Jansen. That's right, Leia Jansen able to kind of come in and do what she did against Anna Bright yesterday. Able to kind of ground and pound from the baseline until finding her approach shot and able to come in and put that ball. Just enough difficulty there for Anna Lee Waters, so. Side out. Oh, there's Anna Lee Waters. Welcome, welcome to the semifinal singles with a big two-handed backhand for a put away. And that's what she does just so well. Great timing. Zero two. Point. One, two. Side out. Two, one. point for Waters. Yeah, Leia Jansen uh, kind of pushing that ball back, trying to get enough slice on her. It sat up nicely for Annalie Waters to place the ball deep in the corner and just out of reach, really, from Leia Jansen. She was able to get a paddle on it, but not really One, get two. her full feet under it. So. Can you recall the score? Good brief look there. Lee Waters on the bench of Annalie Waters. Prolific women's pro in her own right. And the running serve for Waters. There we saw it. And Waters Point. takes control of the kitchen. How about that running serve? What do you think? I mean, really, it's just a, it's a different look for your opponent, right? So it, whether it's the timing for her or, or for Leia Jansen, it's really just giving her a different look. Maybe she's watching her feet and not the ball, so. <laughs> Side out. A little miscue there from Annalie Waters trying to get a little too crafty with that kind of high volley, putting it a little wide. And Leia Jansen obviously already looking to her, her bench and really to her side, which is her vision coach. He's actually sitting about a couple, couple seats up, so two, two. he is here today. Side out. Yeah, a great shot down the line from Annalie Waters, painting the line but one of the impressive things is she has such amounts of peace and power but doesn't always use that power sometimes mixes it up with her shots
Point. for Jansen. Keeping those frustrations at bay, certainly a key for her. The last couple of meetings last season prior to Three, the Masters two. were really close for Jansen. Three games for those. Punch volley to perfection right to open up the inside out. That's right, setting it up beautifully with the approach shot right in that right corner. Vanalee Waters, you're gonna see it right there with her backhand and then just nicely placing it to the opposite side of the court. Dallas, two, Texas three. matchup in June of last year. 14-12 was a score in game two. Such a crisp inside <laughs> backhand volley for Annalie Waters. Yeah, not only does she get her power on it, but she shapes the ball so well to actually kick up on you. It makes it very difficult to make a play. Three, two. Point. And Leia Jansen gonna have to kind of reevaluate some of these slice shots that are teeing off, uh, receiver, teeing up two. for Annalie Waters. And yeah, just as predicted, <laughs> there's the timeout to think it over right away. Watch this young lady weekend in, weekend Point out. Two. 22 triple crowns to her name, looking for her fourth straight Point. here in Mesa. Unbelievable. She's able to do that at such a young age. We talk about it a lot, but it still deserves credit. Absolutely. And Annalie coming out hot Point from two. the timeout with a huge serve. Great depth. Right, great volley there from Leia Jansen, but it's the shot that set it up prior. Although there was a little net court in there, it's she's going for those angles. She's had the ability to give Annalie trouble, even in those big matches that they've had throughout, even though Annalie was able to win the majority, 90% of them. But she's able to kind of bring her in with that slice and make it a little more difficult and just powering away from the baseline. Side out. Hey, Jansen, of course, played collegially at Washington State University in college tennis. Five, two. So it pays off with those angles you speak of. Ooh. Point. And Ali serving really big to start this match. Great depth, great power. All that practice while all the fans here from Mesa were already here watching her. Point. Seven, two. Yeah, another Point. miss from Leia Jansen, but it's again the serve from Anna Lee Waters, Time the receiver, power right and two. depth, and obviously another timeout for Leia Jansen here right on cue for her, I'm sure, but that's what... We'll have to get more on that. She's been working with the vision coach. It's been part two. of her comeback here to singles, journey with diabetes as well. Oh, my. <laughs> and Lee made her work for it, but Leia Jansen drops in that drop ball you've been looking for. Absolutely. Leia Jansen finally doing what's uh, been giving Anna Lee problems throughout a little bit of time was just bringing her in on her terms and then moving the ball around and making Do her it. work for it. Great job by Leia Jansen. Side out. And really, Michelle, we saw this yesterday in the first game against Anna Bright where she kind of just struggled just with just errors it was just errors it wasn't that the other player was really beating her Eight although Annalise's serve is really causing Leia problems early on here but just gotta clean that up against the world number one <laughs> great play <laughs> full <laughs> scramble Leia again able to kind of keep Anna Lee. There's that short angle once again. You can see it on a replay. And that sets up everything else for her. So, gonna look for that more. Point. Wide for Anna Lee. 
Leah Jensen back on the board for the first time in a while on the schedule this season. Pretty third from Leah Jansen to the corner. Picking her spots nicely. Great shot. Two-handed backhand right down the line. Sets it up with the forehand first. Jansen again not happy that's a few more miss volleys than what she's usually doing so she knows she's there it's just making the contact in the right spot so not happy with herself Side out. Was called just deep by Waters. Eight four. Side out. Here's a good look at Connor Garnett in the crowd, lingering as he awaits taking on the world number one in his semifinal matchup coming up after this one. And Connor Garnett. One of the fastest rising stars on the men's Four, side. Eight. Such a nice guy, too, the four seed. Having a great tournament. Side out. And again, the power of Annalie Waters, and not only the power, but the depth. That's where the ball just kind of stays down on Leah Jansen there, unable to get under it, but. Annalise knows the sense of urgency Eight here four. as Leia started to get a rhythm to keep it going. Point. And another missed volley from Leia Jansen. Arms up in the air a little bit as to why she keeps missing, so. Nine four. Mm. Side out. One of the drop shot did Annalise, just got caught top of the tape. Leia Jansen. Recovers this. And one of the hard things, and especially in singles and, and doubles as well, but especially in singles, you Four know, you, we see this ball on, on TV and cameras, and it's hard to see the spin. There's a lot more shape on the ball than we realize. And a great cross court shot from Leah Jansen. Making Annalise stretch. Yeah, Jansen took the silver at this event last season. Five, nine. Side out. Yeah, fist pump for Man Lee Waters. And yeah, Leah Jansen, though, although she's you know, she got down early and, and still is down, but Nine, Should five. be happy with starting to have a little bit of rhythm point. here. And of course, as I say that, she misses the game next point. return. And that brings game point over to Annalie Waters. In 23 minutes time since we started this match. 10-5. Point, game 11-5. Deep five. return from Leah Jansen and a big serve from Annalie Waters who takes game one, 11-5. Yeah, just a little. The official ball of the PPA Tour.
serve. So maybe even starting a little further back if Leia can on the return would help our cause. Point. And right off the get, <laughs> much better result there for Leia Jansen sticking the volley. And we saw this yesterday. Everything started to get cleaned up a little bit, even in game two when she took on Anna Bright. One zero. Point. Just wide for Waters and a much better start for Leah Jansen. That volley is so good from Waters. It's exactly how she polished off her quarterfinal run. Great ball movement left and right, going to the corners. Great ball striking. And then finally able to find her approach shot and put that ball away. Zero two. Side out. I don't know if Anna Lee actually overran that ball or just kind of jumped up at her a little bit, kind of got caught off balance, so. 2-0. Point. Side out. I did see it out. And Leia Jansen just wanted to confirm with the referees that ball was out. And side out awarded to Anna Lee Waters. 0-2. That's too good Point. from Annalie Waters. Pace and depth with a lot of spin. Absolutely, and this is going even away from Leia Jansen as well. Just a great spot on the court. And not overhitting, keeping it very compact instead of trying to overswing, knowing that that acceleration is coming after and not before. One, two. Back to the well twice Point. for Annalie Waters to the left corner. That's right, knowing Leia Jansen was probably going to run across. She's been going left and right a little bit, trying to get the ball behind her. Leia had to pivot quickly to try to recover and have a shot at that ball. Ended up hitting it short, being off balance. 2-2. Two, two. Point. Heavy angle to match by Waters. That's right. Once again, there's the patterns and the pattern recognition, and obviously Leia Jansen going to have to kind of change this up and go back to the bench and think about it. Really tough to find a pattern that works. We'll take it and run with it. That's right. She Tied continues in. to set everything up with her serve here, having depth and power, and Leia Jansen just not able to get on top of these on the Three, returns two. too much. We'll see if she can change it here. Already starting further back. Despite a good return from Leah Jansen, Waters has such an arsenal of shots and the ability to keep her deep and to the corners. Yeah, definitely elected to bring her in and see what Leah could do in the cat and mouse game, but didn't get that far. Side out. And a much needed side out for Leah Jansen. Started off this game at 2 0, and then Annalie Waters running off the four points, but. We'll see after her uh, serve routine that Leia Jansen is known for if she can get going. My goodness. No room to run for Leia Jansen with those angles from Waters. Yeah, all the ground strokes just setting it up for down the line, cross court, depth, closing in slowly, setting her feet prior to all of Leia's shots so she can get maximum contact on it. Oh, oh, oh. finesse roll touch down the line on the approach. Not an easy shot to bury. No, she has to be very controlled, very compact with that shot. And, you know, Leia trying to do what she's been doing to give Annalie problems and bring her in on the short ball. You see it on the replay, but nice little compact motion with the acceleration after down the line. Very nice from the world number one. 
Dedicated that shot to the crowd. Five Clearly <laughs> looked up. They liked it. And she made it look easy on the put away and a beautiful setup from the shot before. Absolutely. She's just getting the lines now. That's going to be tough with anybody that you play against once they start getting on a streak of hitting, hitting the line. So. Leia Jansen definitely having her hands full here in game two, just as she did in game one. 6-2. Too good from Leia Jansen. Finds the opening down the line. And then Leia Jansen asking for the crowd to make some noise this time, kind of playing at Annalie Waters a little bit. Gotta love that. They answered. Leia Jansen follows it up with a point. And as we know, Leia Jansen, a very emotional player, she feeds off this crowd a little bit, and maybe that's something that gets her going. It was Annalie Waters just kind of getting the crowd into it. 3-6. Side out. Six three. Point. Timeout receiver seven three. And another missed return from Leia Jansen gonna lead her to take another timeout. Seven three. Point. I mean it was a great return from Leia Jansen, exactly what she wanted, and there it was. Anna Lee able to angle that ball away from Leia with a little little drop, top spin roll. Ridiculous. Colin Johns talks a lot about the way Anna Lee Waters is able to hit some of those groundies on the rise. Eight, three. Causes that ball to get over the net a little bit quicker. Point. And Leia Jansen with a missed opportunity to kind of have the approach there. Nine Extending three. Annalie Waters' lead. Point. And yeah, that one not coming up at all, actually. And Leia Jansen kind of looking at her paddle right now, but it was just a bad bounce for her. Didn't come up. Ten Great three. ball striking again from Annalie. Match point. Point, game and match, 11-3. And match sealed by the young Anna Lee Waters, who is triple crown hunting once more. And her third straight singles finals appearance will be here in Mesa on the 2024 campaign. The winner, Anna Lee Waters, to the broadcast now. Anna Lee, your domination just continues to grow and grow and shine here on center court. What was the difference maker for you to take this one in dominant fashion, given the, the close matches we've seen with you and Leah Jansen over the years? Yeah, for sure. I've been playing Leia, I think, since I was 11. <laughs> so it's been about a six-year kind of battle between us. You know you're going to get some good pickleball, some long points. Leia's super tall, so at the net, she's really hard to pass, and that's kind of my game. So I kind of have to adjust and come in a little bit more when I play her, uh, which isn't something I'd like to do, but I'll do it if I have to. But uh, yeah, I thought she played really well. I thought today I started a little slow. She was putting a lot of pressure on me, hitting a lot of deep balls, and I was kind of too far off the baseline. I don't know if you heard me yelling at myself. I was like, Annalise, stay on the line going forward. And I think I was doing <laughs> that more throughout the match but yeah she was definitely making it hard for me to come forward um, but I somehow was able to do it this match but congrats to her for getting here yeah Anna Lee a lot of big powerful serves today from there and I really want to ask you though and I'm sure all these people are curious let us know what's going on with the running serve I don't know, honestly. I think I hit two in the first game, and then I was like, oh, I have kind of forgot about it. It's just not something that I'm, like, really trying to do. It's just I'll bring it out every now and then. I think it really depends on the player. I'll test it out. If I get some missed returns, I'll use it. But it's not really worth doing it over and over again since it's so new right now because I will miss a couple. So if it's a tight moment, you probably won't see me using it. But I try to, you know, piece it in at some moments just so I'm a little comfortable using it, and hopefully tournament by tournament, I'll just get more comfortable and it can keep getting better. <laughs> Well, Annalie, triple crown number 23 for you is in sight here in Mesa in front of this great 
environment. How would you describe what it's like to play in this atmosphere with a packed house starting at 11 a.m. It's local time. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. I mean, you guys have been out here since Thursday cheering everybody on, so thank you so much. It's always packed here in Mesa, so I love coming here. I love the crowd. The people here are so nice. Uh, we actually are looking at having, buying a house here and, you know, living here a little bit because of the West Coast tournament. So maybe I'll be seeing more of you just Ooh. on the local rec play courts. So that's something you might not know. <laughs> but it's in the works. So not, not here yet. Still in Florida. But, uh, but yeah, super excited to be here. I love it. Annalie, thanks so much. Congrats. We'll see you uh, not once but twice more here on Humana Championship Court. Great stuff.